Julie, and as many of you know, I walk dogs every single morning, which means that despite the fact that I have rosacea on my face, I do have to go outside and spend about an hour in the direct sunlight every single day. So um, because springtime is here now and the sun is out a lot more and it's starting to um, have a much bigger effect on, rosa on my rosacea at least, and according to rosacea.org on other people's rosacea as well, I thought I would talk about the things that I do to protect my face from the sun. Because rosacea is so notorious to being sensitive to other things such as sunscreen and things like that, it isn't necessarily just as easy as slapping on some sunscreen and then heading out, things like that. There are actually a lot of um, trials and tribulations that have to be faced in order to block the sun from actually shining on my face. Um, the sun, to start, the sun is actually one of the most common triggers for rosacea, which actually makes this a very important topic. So if you have rosacea and you're not sure what your triggers are, you might want to start a rosacea diary and find out if direct sunlight is one of them. So to protect yourself from this guy here, the sun, here's what I do. <laughs> Um, the first thing that I do is actually sunscreen. It took me a long time to find a sunscreen that would suit my face. Um, one of my very first videos, in fact, I think my very first video was just so that I could express myself outside of my blog, outside of the written word, to talk about the frustration that I'd felt after I'd used um, one sunscreen for one or two years without any problems, and then suddenly it started causing flare-ups. So. The funny thing about it is, even when you think you've found y your way to the right sunscreen, it might only work for so long. So don't go out and buy, don't stockpile it. You never know when it's going to start being problematic. For me, I had been using an Aveeno sunscreen for face and for sensitive skin. That worked great for a while, and then suddenly it stopped working. I don't know if they changed the ingredients or if I just suddenly started reacting to it. Either way, I couldn't use it anymore. So um, I started testing a number of other ones, and I came across La Roche-Posay. Um, these are the ones that I use. I put them back in the box. These are actually open already, but I put them back in the box so you can see what they look like on the shelf. Uh, there's this one. It would be the SPF 60 and Thelios. And um, I really like this one. It is ultralight. It's in the form of a fluid, not an actual cream. So um, when you take it out of the box, as I'm trying to do, it looks the, the it's a weird little shaped bottle like this. And um, it's when you take this off, it's got a little spout at the top. I'm not sure if you can see it or not, but it's just got a little spout. And you have to be very careful with it because when you turn it over, it is a liquid. So it's called a fluid. It pours out into your hand. You need very, very little. This is a tiny little bottle, but it will last a very long time. And the uh, expiry date is quite a long one. This one I bought at the end of last summer, and it's good until November 2017, if that gives you any <laughs> hints. Um, I love this. This is the one that I use when I head out to walk the dogs. This is the heavy duty one, the one if you're going to the beach, you're going to a picnic, you're going to be outside for a while, put this on. Um, because I don't want to wash my face all the time, I actually get up in the morning, put this on directly on top of everything that I had on overnight, and then when I get back from the walk, I wash this and everything else off immediately. That lets me keep my uh, face washing down, my face washing down to um, twice per day, once in the morning and once in the evening. Um, as an alternative, if I'm not actually heading out into the sunlight for a very long time, but I will be going outside, for example, going out to walk to a store that's only a few minutes away, or I'll be driving places, and there will be sunlight through the windows of the car, but um, it's not going to be that intense. For example, I'm not going to be in direct sunlight for a super long time. Um, I use another Roche Posay product. This one is called Rosiliac UV Legere. Um, it's an anti. It's actually meant for anti redness. Uh, this is actually a moisturizer that you can use every day. Um, it says it even says soothes, flushes, and hides redness. It's actually meant for for actually this kind of skin type. Um, it has a little bit of a hint of green in it, which is I think what hides the redness. I don't think it actually heals anything. It just doesn't for me. It doesn't cause harm, and that's all I'm asking. So this one only has an SPF 15 in it. But um, it sits well, very well underneath makeup, and um, I can use it. I could use it every day if I needed to without any problems. So this is what the bottle looks like when you take it out of the box. And as well, this one also has a long expiry date on it. Um, 
I really like both of those products. That said, with any sunscreens, it's very important to wear them for the minimum possible time. I would rather just use a regular moisturizer than one with a sunscreen. I use a sunscreen if I'm heading out at any point. But if I'm staying in, I don't wear any sunscreen at all. Um, I have received questions about trying to take off sunscreen, how to do it, because um, I know a lot of my previous cleansers have not worked on that. If your cleanser isn't doing it, you might want to try um, something like this. This is Yes to Cucumbers. Um, it's the Soothing Hypoallergenic Facial Towelettes. It's mostly meant for um, taking off makeup, but it does take off sunscreen in my, in my experience, and it works pretty nicely and it doesn't cause flare-ups. I use this and then I use my regular cleanser right afterwards just to get off anything that does that is in this because I think there is alcohol in it but so far it hasn't reacted for me so that's why I use this. By the way some of these products might not work for you I'm just talking about them because they've worked for me so if you want to try something out um, you're looking for ideas then you might want to talk about these with your doctor or your dermatologist. That said, more recently, um, if you've seen some of my review videos, I've been using the Face Addiction Soft Skincare line, and the cleanser for that, which is this one, I discovered actually yesterday or the day before, this does take off my sunscreen, so I'm thrilled I don't have to use the disposable towelettes anymore. This will do it for me. Very excited that this will actually not only cleanse my face and be very gentle, but it will also take off all the gunk that I apply to it to try and protect it. Um, Aside from that, when it comes to um, sunscreen and things like that, I've also, I'm not sure if I actually have rosacea on my lips or not. I have a little pink dot. I need to have that, you know, just I need to ask about that, whether that's rosacea or it's something else. It could just be some sort of pigmentation thing. But I also do use, um, this is SPF 15. It's just a, a lip balm that has a bit of sunscreen in it. And I use that for the length of time that I'm walking the dogs, just in case. And it makes sure that any areas that I might not be getting with the sunscreen that are around my lips, because I'm not putting sunscreen on my lips, it makes sure they're covered too. Alternately, um, if you haven't found a uh, sunscreen that works for your skin type, for your skin, I mean, if it causes reactions, and if you'd, or if you'd just like to not wear that as much as possible, it's a really good idea just to keep yourself in the shade. So you can just be in a shady place, like under an overhang or a tree or something like that. Um, you can wear a wide brim hat. I do wear this hat every day, but a baseball cap, honestly, it's not good enough. The sun does get onto your skin from the sides. This is just basically to shade your eyes. So don't consider a baseball cap good enough to protect your face. You would need a wide-brimmed hat that goes all the way around. That's the only thing that would really do it in terms of hat. Um, last year I also started, I did an entire blog post about bringing back the parasol and I've been picking up different different kinds of Chinese parasols and things like that. I have like a red one and here's a purple one. I have a blue one as well, just because I think that they're very pretty. And they're great for if you just need to walk down the street or head to the store or something like that, um, and you just want something that's quite light, but that will shield you from the sun for, for a bit of a distance that you're going, and you don't want to have to apply a whole pile of sunscreen and feel slimy and risk getting a flare-up. Also, um, I got this at the dollar store, and it's just a white rain umbrella, but because it's light in color, um, it also has a kind of summery sunlight feel to it. So any of those, you know, maybe we rosy friends can bring back the parasol and put that back into, you know, there are enough warnings and things like that about skin cancer out there that maybe bringing back a sunshade would be a good idea. So um, I found that that actually was, was quite nice. I used that all last summer and that was very successful for me. So those are some ideas for protecting your face from the sun. Um, if you have any ideas, um, if you've had some, some experience with, with some more sunscreens that have worked for you, or if you have other ideas on how to protect your skin from the sun, um, please add them to, to the comments below. I would love to learn them. I'm always looking for more tips and tricks and things like that. And um, I'm sure other people would love to see them as well. Um, other than that, I hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, please give it a thumbs up. And if you like to see more videos like this, I make new videos every Sunday and Thursday. So please subscribe to my channel. And I guess I'll see you next time.